Hello everyone, are you looking for background image changing tutorial on scroll? Here I have the solution for you. Now pay attention on my project file structure. I have prepared four different images that packed into one folder called images. You may use as many images as you want. Also, I've already created blank CSS and HTML file for this project. Make sure you follow my project file structures accordingly. I've already put my CSS file and the font URL under the head section. Check out the link video on top of right corner to see the Google Fonts tutorial. Now let's moving on to the body section. First, I'm gonna create DEF for the background image. Since I'm using four images, I'll just copy paste the code three times and rename the class to our image file name accordingly. We're done with image diff. The next thing, let's create a diff as text wrapper and put a sample text under this diff. Alright, now we can see the sample text is visible in the right preview section. Don't forget to save your file and let's continue to the CSS part. In the body section, set margin and padding to 0 following with height is 100%. Now let's put the image file URL path to the image class. Let me just copy paste for the other images and rename the URL path accordingly to the image file name. Alright, now we have the URL images all set up. Moving on to next step, let's to customize the background image. Set the image height to 100% and position it to center of the page. I don't want to have the image repeating in the background, so I just make it to no repeat. Also, I will make the image fully covered the page, so I set the background size to cover. Now we can see all images appeared in the preview section covering the page as we expected. But we still have one job to do, the sample text is still at the bottom of the images. So I'm gonna move it to the top of the images by customizing the wrapper. The wrapper plays important part to put the sample text to its place. Now, set the background color to white and we want the wrapper to stay still at the center of the image when the page is being scrolled. So I set the position to fixed. Also set the top and left position to 50%, following with translation to minus 50%. Put the Z index to 2 and then width make it to 700 pixel should be enough. I am gonna make the padding to 25 pixel and then align the text to center. As we can see, the wrapper is now visible with sample text on top of it and behaving as we expected. The next step, I will customize the font style with these following codes.
Let's go back to wrapper section. Here, I'm gonna add drop shadow effect to the wrapper to give a floating effects of text wrapper toward the images. This is just optional, whether you want to add it or not it's all up to you. Alright, now the backdrop shadow has appeared under the wrapper and giving it a nice look as if it's floating on top of images. Now save your file and double check to make sure your CSS file have no missing codes. Once you're done let's preview our project. Congratulations! Now, we already have our project worked perfectly. If we scroll the page up or down, the text remains still at the center of the page. Also, the background images is showing no issues and covering the page as we expected. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and click on the notification to get our latest updates. See you in the next videos.